Yo, what up? It's Sea Lance. You're tuning into Breaking Records Radio, my favorite radio for underground hip hop. And I show you support. Peace. And that being said, too, like before I do kind of go back in time again, um, would you, that being said with you and Merck, like in the way you guys have kind of built and uh, kind of, kind of, kind of built each other up simultaneously, um, do you think there would ever be a time now where you would actually, because like you said, you're like, at the time, you're like, you know, he was performing in front of 10 people. So I'm assuming he probably wasn't buying beats from you. You probably just believed in him more like, yo, we can create something great. Would you take that chance again now that you're so far in your career? If you if you seen somebody on the up and coming and they maybe didn't quite have really that much exposure, but you you seen the talent in them, would you take that chance on another up and comer today? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I would, uh, you know, I would start by like sending, I would, I would start by sending whoever it was like a few beats because you'll be able to gauge like right away how hungry the kid is, first of all. Yeah. If the kids, if the kid sits on the beats for, for, you know, like months or years, then you know that their, their work ethic, because like work ethic is a huge thing with me. Like yeah. I can't work, I can't work with someone who does one song every three years. Yeah. So especially like a young kid, like if I'm sending you beats and like you want to like, you know, like build something like I better be getting songs back like, you know, like every month or every other, you know, month or something. But I would definitely build with like a young kid who, who, who I believed in, who thought that, you know, who was like, you know, crazy talented or or like something like that. I would. Yeah, I would definitely I haven't really I haven't really built with anyone like that, like like a young kid or anything because i'm just so focused on what i'm doing now yeah but uh with 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 social media and everything like you never you never know who could dm me and be like hey can you check out my music and stuff so and i do do that like when people dm me and there's like can, can you check me out like i do i don't just like you know i'm not drake where i have nine million messages like i can manage my dms <laughs> you so, know what that's that's good for you though, man. Cause I'm not going to lie. I, myself, I don't like a lot of times someone shoots me a link in the inbox nine times out of 10. I'm like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like I, I'm more, yeah. about, I'm more, I myself am more about the discovery. Like if I come across it or it comes across my radar and it looks intriguing and I like it, then I'm gonna reach out and be like, yo, let's do an interview or like, yo, let me hook you some beats or, you know what I mean? Or like, just, just do anything that I can to potentially be like, you know, like, Either, or just say I fuck with what you're doing, you know what I mean? But so I, yeah, I yeah. commend you for that because that's um that takes a lot of time, man. Like I don't have damn near the amount of DMs you have, and it can be a task yeah. for me to get through mine, man. Yeah. So I I mean I, it it's not I'm not sitting here listening to someone's full EP, but, <laughs> but like if, if someone drops me like a song, because like I mean, you know, you kind of know right off the bat if yeah. if like if like you should just delete it or, you know, if, if you should be like, yo, pretty good, man, keep going or something, you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you know, I mean, it was different when, like, when I was coming up, like you couldn't really, it was kind of before Facebook, I mean, Instagram wasn't a thing. I mean, I met Paz on MySpace. So, I mean, what does that tell you? Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Man, I feel like a I feel like a dinosaur saying MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was so upset like a couple years ago when uh, MySpace decided to delete all the music off of their profiles. Oh, that, did like, they? Yeah, they they made an announcement. I think it was like two years ago or so. But um, you know, I had like some of my first recordings on there, and you know, I didn't bother downloading them and saving them to a hard drive because I'm like, ah, they're on MySpace. You know, you listen to them once every five years, right? And then they delete them. I know. Them. I know damn damn i'll never hear those again no <laughs> The mind is touch, everything I hold a touch can bust the gold dust. You see me as a threat, but you don't need to sweat. Cause your girl know I keep her wetter than a chia pet. Motherfuckers wanna hate when you do it good. Who 
hoping that this feeling doesn't stay Getting drunk every day, waiting till it goes the fuck away Then I wake up to another day just to face reality again Cause the buzz of pain doesn't change a fucking thing Nothing comes next, I wonder what's next I used to be atheist, but now I just say fuck it, I'm blessed Fuck it, I'm blessed They say it's easier said than done So I'm working till I get it done uh.